Smith to escape Thanos' armies and his wrath. The old shafts brought them close to the busy town of Burger's End. and the all-devouring evil's army had left the mines of Steelsmith behind them, far from Thanos and his henchmen. The tunnels brought them close to the city, Burger's End, in the Empire's hinterlands. Burger's End was known for its voracious heroes. More specifically, their appetites were legend, wait for it, dairy. They ate so much that the city had to be supplied with food from the surrounding area on a daily basis. True story. <laughs> These gluttons are going to be easy. Onwards, creatures of the deviant evil! Give these gourmands their just desserts! This hasty attack wasn't the best idea, as the what is cannon fodder for evil's creatures all too quickly found out. These well-fed warriors proved to be exceedingly powerful and dismembered the advancing horde with terrifying speed. Mm, that could have gone better. Naturally, a battle like that can work up an appetite. Luckily, a transport full of food showed up shortly after the clash. The wheels quickly turned in the deceitful evil's evil brain. What if those deliveries were to have an accident on their way to the city, and the city suddenly ran out of food? It giggled a treacherous little g Those wood piles could be used as a roadblock if they were put into motion with a few hefty blows. That would make transporting that food even more difficult. Okay, then we'll starve the pigs out. A brilliant plan. Do we have to do this? I feel so bad about killing Grimly. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought that evil act would finally extinguish the good part of me. I guess I'll just have to put up with you for a while longer. These schizophrenic monologues are really annoying. They prevent me from saying so much more. Not the worst thing when I look at the reviews of the last game. What? How dare you? Talk about cheeky. You haven't heard the last of this. In its boundless genius, the prudent evil had provided Talia with a few gobberbots whose combat strength would prove extremely useful. They were just, um, wait a minute, where are they? Yes, they were supposed to be delivered yesterday, but the postman just left a note at the dungeon entrance saying that I wasn't home. I was here the whole time. Oh, how I'd love to work with professionals just once. Professionals just once. Take a deep breath. Remember what they taught you. You don't want any more of those electric shocks. <sighs> Fine. Fine. And so, the bad-tempered evil quickly threw two gobberbots into the dungeon. Then it went out to find that postman and beat the living crap out of him.
It's payday. Spiders pouring out of a room that was accidentally unearthed. Disgusting. <laughs> Meanwhile, even the gluttonous heroes of Burger's End had noticed the constant rhythmic thumping sounds coming from underground between shoes and sent scouts and combat troops out to the dungeon. Ah, these stuffed. Pigs will be a piece of cake. We could also deal with them peacefully, couldn't we? That was a noble thought from the good Talia, but the heroes of Burger's End were not choosy about what they ate, and dark elf fingers were considered a delicacy. Oh, disgusting! Right, let's roast these pigs. Oh, good call. Collecting evil had, um, well, collected evil. Damned adjectives, whatever. It soon had the chance to research Gobobox, enabling it to recruit them itself in future. This extremely useful research would equip all normal goblins with a mech, greatly increasing their combat strength. The dungeon heart is being attacked.
Payday. The first food delivery set out for Burger's End. Of course, the well-prepared and not at all surprised evil would never let it arrive at its destination. Uh, where are you taking? The beer-brewing evil could now build a brewery. Alcohol and heavily armed evil creatures. What well, could go wrong? But apart from that, the brewery was able to brew delicious beer, which the horde creatures craved. Beer was essential for the horde, as these stubborn creatures demanded the delicious beverage as soon as they acquired a certain amount of experience and wanted to continue their training beyond a given stage. Actually, that kind of reminds me of my time in the army. This food delivery will never reach those gluttonous pigs in Burger's End now. Ha! Enemies have entered the dungeon. These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them.
no one has arachnophobia. A, a spider nest has been discovered. It's payday. Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades. There are enemies in your dungeon. Now ready to roll. Soon, a creature of the horde, or a little snot, would here begin to produce the noble brew. Not only was beer essential for powerful horde creatures, it also had a healing effect upon them. Ah, if only that would work for me. Anything that increases the troops' combat strength is great. Go, creatures! Get yourselves drunk! A food delivery set out for Burger's End. Naturally, the relentless evil would never let it get there. These blockades were certainly to be very useful to the sneaky evil in clogging access to Burger's End. Destructive evil had destroyed the food delivery before it even got close to Burger's End.
Enemies have entered the dungeon. Defend the dungeon heart. Just wait. Take that, you worm. Payday. We should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades. Delivery on the way? Right. Let's take care of it.
These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them. There are enemies in your dungeon. <coughs> Heroes are helping themselves to your treasury. It's payday. Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades. Did I just hear a satisfied burp? Did a food delivery make it through to Burger's End? The failing evil had obviously failed. should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End.
Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades. Scouts inform the highway robbing evil of another delivery on its way to Burger's End. Death to all that is good! Day. These blockades were certain to be very useful to the sneaky evil in clogging access to Burger's End. Oh, apparently a couple of heroes got lucky and caught a couple of goblins away from their gobobots on a pee break. You should free them as quickly as possible. Destructive evil had destroyed the food delivery before it even got close to Burger's end. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Evil is unstoppable! Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades. Enemies have entered the dungeon.
These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them. Scouts inform the highway robbing evil of a number of deliveries on their way to Burger's End. Aha, the roaring evil thought. It's payday. We should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. <laughs> the destructive evil's armies had destroyed one of the deliveries. Robbing evil hadn't even let a crumb roll through the burger's end. Excellent work. Man, stay down! Satisfying crash and clatter heralded the unapproachable evil's army's destruction of the pixie camp. A wonderful thing, because the sound of their wings reminded me of the mosquitoes that attacked me in bed at night, damn things. Oh, I'm sure we could have come to a peaceful agreement. Peaceful agreement? With something that sounds like a mosquito? Trust me, there's no room for peace there. Only total war. Even when you search every crack in the whole damn bedroom at two in the morning for the stupid thing.
These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them. And still these goblins waited to be freed by the completely ignoring them evil. Naturally, it immediately sprang into action. A number of food deliveries simultaneously set out for Burger's End. Naturally, the insatiable evil would never let them arrive. Payday. These blockades were certain to be very useful to the sneaky evil in clogging access to Burger's End. Everything evil. There are enemies in your dungeon. Defend the dungeon. <laughs> Everything good must die. The destructive evil's armies had destroyed one of the deliveries. We should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. The failing evil had not managed to stop all of the food deliveries from reaching Burger's End, and now had to live with the sound of the hero's satisfied feasting, which was followed by even more satisfied burps.
These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them. Day. These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them. Scouts inform the highway robbing evil of a number of deliveries on their way to Burger's End. Aha, the roaring evil thought. to close the entrance to Burger's End.
And still, these goblins waited to be freed by the completely ignoring them evil. Naturally, it immediately sprang into action. These blockades were certain to be very useful to the sneaky evil in clogging access to Burger's End. <coughs> there are enemies in your dungeon. Delivery to Burgess End spontaneously burst into flame. Well, okay, actually more because the grandiose evil's creatures set it on fire. managed to stop all of the food deliveries from reaching Burger's end, and now had to live with the sound of the hero's satisfied feast, which was followed by even more satisfied birds. These wood piles close to the entrance to the city could make an excellent blockade. The slow evil quickly began to take advantage of them.
We should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. What do you want me to do? should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. deliveries carrying a variety of culinary delights were on their way to Burger's End. How sad that they would never reach their destination. <laughs> Destroying evil had destroyed one of the deliveries to Burger's End. Yes. Payday. We should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. The aimless evil continued to allow the goblins to rot in their prison. Maybe they didn't deserve it, but just the same, they could also prove to be useful soldiers. The destructive evil's armies had destroyed one of the deliverers.
Robbing evil hadn't even let a crumb roll through the burger's end. Excellent work. There are enemies in your dungeon. should use the wood piles to close the entrance to Burger's End. Payday. Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades.
A number of food deliveries simultaneously set out for Burger's End. Naturally, the insatiable evil would never let them arrive. Where are you taking me? One of the deliveries to Burger's End met an inglorious end. Burger's End was doomed. The feasting evil's armies had laid low the last of their defenders and now rampaged through the city, plundering and burning as they went. Wonderful! <laughs> Let them burn! Uh, uh, okay, somehow that was extremely evil. I mean... I haven't forgotten that bit about the Dark Elf fingers, but maybe we could have gone about things differently? Ah, just shut up and look at the fire! Talia sat and surveyed the heartwarming scene. Every now and then one could still hear some screaming in the distance, but they soon ebbed, and there was no sound except the crackling of the fire. Well, aside from the roaring of the vile evil's creatures, of course. Once the plundering and arson had gone on long enough, the hinterland conquering evil's army marched on. 